Hey guys, what is up? It's Seb here at Leading Man Attraction and in today's video we're going to be talking about the three major reasons why your approaches might be failing. So if you are going out and you're approaching girls and you're not getting results, you're not getting girls attention, maybe you're not getting numbers or if the interactions are lasting less than a minute or two minutes and then the girl loses interest, we're going to be going over the three things that you can do right now to make sure that the girl stays interested and so that you can build attraction with the girl and get her number, get her on an Insta date and get her to date you. So guys, if you are experiencing any of these issues, stick around to the end of the video because at the end, I'm gonna be giving you my secret thing as well. So something that I always do in my approaches that kind of makes my approaches go extremely well most of the time. Okay guys, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, so the first mistake that I see a lot of clients make at the beginning of actually approaching women. So if you are a beginner, this is something that you might be doing. They always, always rush through what they're gonna say. So, you know, we've practiced the open, we've done all the preparation, and when it comes to the actual approach, so they see a girl that they find attractive, they know what the opener they're gonna do, they get really nervous, they go up, and they rush through their you know open so the girl actually is extremely surprised because they kind of go in front of them really quickly they want to get it out of the way and they want to make sure that they get a good response so they are seeking validation from the open from the get-go now that is not something that you're always going to get sometimes a girl will not give you a positive response and that is when most guys crumble and they don't know what to say, they get nervous and they go blank, right? They don't have any idea how to lead the conversation to get a positive response. And it is because they seek the positive response from the get-go. But because they are rushing through the open, the girl sometimes doesn't quite hear him. The girl is quite surprised, she is shocked, she doesn't know what's going on. And that is the reason why a lot of the time a girl might actually just walk right past you or she might look at you, stop for a second, not give you a good response and then say she has a boyfriend. It is because you're rushing through the open and you are seeking validation on the open. You must not seek any validation from the girl. You must provide value. You must make sure that the open stays very grounded, very fun, your tonality is level. And you have to, first of all, make sure that the girl actually notices you. So, a lot of mistakes that I see is, when a girl is walking around with her earphones in, the guy will actually go up, start doing the open, and the girl won't even know that he is speaking to her while he's halfway through the open. So eventually she'll notice him, she'll take it off, he'll have to say it again, and that is when he starts to get nervous. And then once he gets through the open, he doesn't know what to say, because either the open that he used was very direct and he had no other you know, topic of conversation that he could lead off from, or he got so nervous that he just went blank and forgot. So I want you to slow down on your open, make sure that the girl notices you, so first, you know, have a look. What is she doing? Where is she going? Is she, is she like running somewhere? Is she with her earphones in? And if she is, make sure that she notices you. So wave, smile, get in front of her, give her some space. Don't go right into her face because again, that is a major mistake that could scare the girl and turn her off straight away. And that way you're gonna give yourself that time to do the open properly and then you can lead. Okay guys, so mistake number two, and this is the technical one, they don't make things sexual. Now this is a major problem for a lot of guys who are starting out, and even guys who are intermediate in game. They don't know how to get sexual with a girl. And that makes sense, because in the day, it is quite hard to be sexual without being overtly sexual. So at night game, it's a little bit different. You can allow yourself to do more and be more physical with a girl very quickly, whereas in day game, it's a lot more subtle. It's a, it's a little bit more technical, and you know, seduction works slightly differently than it would a night game. So they might be really good at night game, you know, because they can get physical, they can get very close to the girl very quickly, whereas in day game, you have to do it a little bit more subtly. And you can do that through the eyes. And you can do that through your voice. So you don't actually have to be overtly sexual, you can be subtle and create innuendos. So things that become slightly sexual, but they are not actually explicitly sexual. So let me give you an example. Let's say that a girl tells you that she is a gymnast and you just say, oh, you're a gymnast. So you're quite flexible then. And you give her a cheeky smile, you squint your eyes a little bit 
and you hold the tension. So you keep making sure that your eye contact is strong with her and you make sure that you are holding your frame. If you crumble during that frame, if you say that and you look away too quickly, if you don't let her break the tension, then you are not staying grounded and that is not gonna work. But if you make sure that you are the guy who brings out that emotion and she then breaks it, you know, she giggles and she will giggle if you do this right, then that is extremely powerful. So you don't have to be overtly sexual to create that sexual vibe. You can do that very easily for your voice, through your tonality, through your body language, through your eyes and through your smile. So just check out some of my infields. I'm gonna link them at the end of the video. Have a look at some of my interactions. You can say that they are not overtly sexual, but there are certain lines and certain ways of me saying things that make the girl laugh, that make the girl giggle, and that you can tell create sexual tension. And they're not overtly sexual at all. So just have a look at that. Take those examples, look at the breakdowns of what I do, and then you'll be able to actually implement those things into your day game. If you don't establish any sexual tension, then you're gonna go into the rabbit hole of doing just regular conversation, very platonic, very boring, no excitement, and the girl who might actually be really interested in you from the open, if you use the good open that is quite fun, witty, she might be interested, but because you don't actually spike, you don't flirt, you don't know how to make the interaction slightly more sexual, create that tension, you know, through your body, not just through your lines, through what you're saying, but through the actual subtle signs that you can give off and your energy, she is going to lose interest, okay? And that is when interactions actually kind of go from being really good at the beginning because the girl is into you to very quickly just going down, down, down. And then after about a minute, maybe two minutes, the girl just isn't interested and you kind of don't have anywhere else to take this conversation because you've already asked her where she's from, what she's doing in the day, who she's seeing, all that kind of conversation just kind of ends and you have nowhere to take it and the sexual tension is gone. So you wanna avoid that through simple things like making sure that you use your body language, your energy, your tonality, and being comfortable with your sexuality. If you are going up to the girl and you know that you are interested in her as a man and you are not afraid to do that, you know, you're not afraid, you're not ashamed of your sexuality and of your masculine energy, then that is gonna come off in your interaction. If you are very timid in your interaction, then again, that is going to hinder the approach. Guys, I'm also gonna link a video to my flirt and breakdown. So how to flirt, there are two very simple methods that you can start to implement into your approaches to become better at flirting. Check it out because again, it is going to show you a step-by-step -step guide of how to create that subtle sexual tension that I'm talking about that is crucial in day game to have a very solid and good approach. Okay guys, so the third major reason why I see approaches fail within the first five, 10, you know, 30 seconds is because that the guys that are doing them are not persistent enough. So they will hear an objection like, I have a boyfriend, or I'm not actually looking for any relationship, or sorry, I'm busy, and the guy will just simply say, oh, okay, have a nice day. Now, why does that fail? Well, it fails because it doesn't allow you to actually get to know the girl, open her up, present yourself, and you know what? That objection can be very easily bypassed through simply being witty and through simply being persistent. So if you are failing within the first five seconds because maybe the girl doesn't notice you on the first approach, so you say, hey, how are you? And the girl just walks by. So if a girl is wearing her earphones, again, an example, and you try to say hi to her and she doesn't notice you because she's walking, she's busy, she's thinking, right? You try it again, you put out your hand a little bit further out, you smile, she still doesn't see you. Don't worry, don't panic. Keep things light, okay? And that is the free strike approach that I always teach guys. So give yourself three chances to stop the girl. If she doesn't want to talk to you after three tries of stopping her, move on, it's fine. She's not interested, nobody gives a fuck, okay? It doesn't affect you in the slightest. That is the approach that I want you to take when you're doing your initial approach. Free strike rule, so hey, nothing. Hey, again, nothing. And then for the third time, make sure that your body language is open, that you're smiling so that she notices you. And then if she does notice you, that's when you lead with the approach. It will help you to pick up far more girls and approach more women 
if you give yourself that time and you are persistent. If a girl gives you an objection, if she says she's really busy, you could also say, why are you being chased by someone? Did you actually steal something and now you're running away? Because you know I am a police officer, so I will have to investigate. So you're gonna be here for at least a minute. All right, you say that, and then you've got that minute to talk to her, you've got a minute to know her, and that is an easy way to stay persistent without being needy, without coming across as creepy, uh, and you can actually have a very, very solid one minute of playful banter by continuing that scenario and then getting to know the girl slightly. If a girl says she has a boyfriend, I have a few lines that I like to use. Again, staying persistent, maybe she does have a boyfriend or maybe she's just saying that because she is busy or maybe she is just not quite ready for an approach. So if a girl says that she has a boyfriend, you can simply say, oh, just the one. So you're busy on Mondays, but the rest of the week you're free. That's cool. I only want to see you on a Friday anyway. And that is playful, that is witty, and that is what you can do. You can also say, oh no, you have a boyfriend. I'm really sorry about that. That is that is really rough. Well, tell you what, how about this? If your boyfriend does something really, really bad, you know, we can go out, we can go on a day, take a few awesome pictures in great locations, and then we'll get them back in check right we'll have a fun date and if you try anything crazy i'm gonna make sure that you don't i'm gonna kind of put your way in the corner and i'm gonna say no all right you say something like that and that way it's playful it's not needy but it is persistent and girls like persistent guys if you can show persistency without neediness then you are doing something that is extremely rare in day game and it is something that's going to get you a lot of girls it's going to get you Girls that you thought at the beginning that you weren't getting, that you cannot get. But in reality, you can if you just stay persistent in the approach. Another one is if she does say she has a boyfriend, you can say, oh my God, you too. That is terrible. How about we run away and just go on a fun adventure together? You can say something like that. So you are not taking it literally. You are actually exaggerating the point and you are just taking it out of proportion. You are not staying logical. You are hitting the girl on an emotional level. And if you can hit a girl on an emotional level, then she is gonna be intrigued by you because you're bringing out positive emotions from her. And that is what makes a good approach great, okay? If you can bring out emotions from a girl, if you stay logical with a girl, then the approach will die very, very quickly, usually within a minute, within the first two minutes, sometimes even quicker if you are not hitting the girl on an emotional level. Okay guys, so to summarize, let's just go over everything really quickly. The first thing that I want you to start doing is making sure that you're not rushing through your open. Stay composed, stay cool, and actually make sure that you get the girl's attention before you do the approach. So before you do the open, make sure that you have the girl's full attention and then you can do your open. Okay guys, so to summarize, the second thing is platonic conversation, so not getting sexual tension in the interaction, which is a major problem of guys. And if you don't implement sexual tension, sole sexual tension if you're doing day game, then your approach is gonna basically potentially go from having a great open to going down and you're gonna potentially just end up not having a great conversation with a girl that is quite boring, platonic, doesn't go anywhere, and it kind of just dies out within the first minute or within the first two minutes and then the girl leaves. So I'm gonna link the video to flirting. Make sure that you watch that because that will help you to create subtle sexual tension in your day game approaches. So the third thing guys, I want you to not be needy, but be persistent. So we've already talked about the ways that you can be persistent without being needy. So implement those into your approaches and you'll see how quickly you'll be able to go from that first 30 seconds that could have been a rejection or you know the first five seconds that could have been a rejection and then you're gonna get yourself more time with the girl if you just stay in there, stay persistent, hold your frame, don't break down and don't let her get away from you as quickly as possible. If she gives you an objection, just avoid it, simply keep pushing, you can ignore it, or you can play off from it, like I was giving you the examples for. Okay guys, and as I was saying, my secret, so at the end of this video that I was gonna share with you, is very simple. So this is something that I call creating assumptions. Now if you saw any of my infields and breakdowns, you'll see that I do this a lot. Like literally, it is my main thing. So what I will do in an approach, if I get stuck, if I don't have a point of conversation that I actually want to go into 
what I do is I create an assumption about the girl. So I don't ask her a direct question that could be seen as boring, that could lead to a very quick, very simple answer that doesn't take the conversation anywhere. And that then makes me have to think about something else to add so that I can continue the conversation. I'll create an assumption based on my sense of humor. So what I find funny or what I find intriguing. So if you are stuck in a conversation that is platonic, notice something about the girl, comment on it, make sure you exaggerate on it. So always make it fun and playful and don't actually make it logical. So a logical one would be, I like your black coat. She's gonna say, thank you. What are you gonna do with that? Then you're gonna say, I like your black boots as well. You know, you can't just say those things because those won't go anywhere. If you wanna know more about assumptions, Again, check out the flirting video because that is how you can start to flirt and have funny witty banter. And also check out my free day game opener course because that will talk about the different styles of openers and how you can make them fun and playful and have great conversations straight off the get-go. This way you'll buy yourself more time to develop that connection, to build that vibe, to get the number and then take the girl out on a date. Okay guys, so that is it for this video. If you did enjoy it and found it informational and useful, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know what you guys thought and what maybe you would like to see in the future and check out the video on how to flirt right now.